here in the first half in Chapel Hill. Kenny Williams has it in the left corner. Dishes it down in the paint to Cameron Johnson with Fluger on his back. Quick hook shot from the left block. It's good. Elijah Burns on the court as well for the Irish for the first time. Pinson in transition, pulls up for the long two, no good. Rebound slapped out though, right back to Pinson. To May, quick pass, Kenny Williams for three. You know it. Fluger just now finding resistance at the three-point arc, turns it over. Kenny Williams with the steal. Tar Heels break in the other direction. Barry. Cuts through the top of the key, picks up his dribble, fires to Cameron Johnson. Hard drive into the paint, dishes off to May. Back to Johnson, his little baby jumper on the baseline is good, and Notre Dame's going to take a timeout. It dropped in for Burns, the junior. That makes it 12-8. to eight. Manley on the low left block. Spin, shoots, and scores as he made the move against Mooney. May left of the lane, fumbled the ball a little bit as he faced up, so he kicks it out to Barry, now to Pinson. Shot clock down to 10. Cameron Johnson, a clean look at three, and picks up his first bucket of the game. Again, a three-point Tario lead at 29-26. Pinson hands off to Kenny Williams. He'll try a three, nothing but net. Gibbs sends it in the right corner. Mooney hadn't missed from three, and he still hasn't. Knocks in the long ball. He is five of five, a career high as far as three-pointers made. Barry quickly the other way. Banks it in on the right. Carolina starting with its starting five. Mooney actually starting the second half for Notre Dame. Meanwhile, the Tar Heels get started nicely as May slips a screen, gets the pass left side, and banks it in. When you're going to see somebody that's a difference maker, and tonight for Notre Dame, it's been Mooney. Gebbin is 15 of his last 16 at the line as Johnson cutting and lays it home. Pinson, the man who found him. See if it can continue here in the second half, and then you're right, pick up on the free throw shooting. Notre Dame is in his zone. Kenny Williams bombs one from deep over top. By design, you want to give that up instead of something else, but with Gebbin and Farrell out there, it's a pretty deadly combo. Barry scores and draws a foul, drove in from the right wing. And he's going to have a chance for a three-point play. Gibbs gave him a little push in the back. And Barry makes it 55-46. 65-61 after Gibbs makes them both. He's in double figures with 10. Cameron Johnson right sideline. Gets by Mooney on the baseline and throws it down over Fluger. Hello. Notre Dame in a zone this possession. They have switched defenses a large majority of this game. May to a cutting Pinson layup and one. That's on Moody. That's going to be number four. Crosses over to Fluger. Three-point line left. Drive, shoots, no good. May with a big, strong rebound. Here come the heels up 7-3 on two. May, Pinson scoops it up and in. Oh, my. That may just be a highlight. It's been a run of games, and we've seen some very good Carolina basketball and consistency. Defense has won it, and offense has been consistent. Huffman hooks it home from the right block, and he will wait for the clock to run out. So three games in five days for the Tar Heels. A daunting tax, to be sure, against some quality opponents. Win versus Duke. Win at NC State, and now a win here at home against the Irish.